Alright, welcome back to another episode of Bros for Rides. Today, we're going to do another bar end mirror installation. So this time, it should be actually be a little bit easier because I've already removed the factory weights. So, uh, all I should have to do is unbolt these ones and stop on a new set. I'm actually bolting on another pair of Kemimoto mirrors. This is actually a sponsored video. Kemimoto sent me these mirrors to install. I went with a different style than, than the round ones that I purchased with my own money. It's with a set of instructions, but just so that way you guys can see which style we're going with today, is we're going to go with this oval with, uh, style with this slash cut on the, on the end. I went with this style because, well, it was different than the ones that I already installed on them. And I did want to check out the blue tinted mirror just to see what the difference was. I'm pretty happy with the, the regular no tint on the mirrors, but I'm curious to see if that actually helps cut down on, on glare. Let's go ahead and get it started with me showing you the contents. You already seen the mirror. There's two of them, of course. Comes with the bar end weights and the expander that you'll need. What I also really like is that it comes with an Allen key, so it should be the same size. Yep, and it feels like it is. It is exactly the same size as the other set of Kemimoto mirrors that I already purchased. And it, and it also comes with the actual bar ends themselves and looks like some sleeve inserts to help uh, make it a little bit tighter if you need it to be. Now let's go ahead and get started with this installation. And use the provided Allen key. So we'll go ahead and start loosening. There we go. While Kemimoto provided the Allen key, that was very nice of them. Maybe I got them a little too tight the first time I installed these particular ones. I will right, we'll go ahead and swap them out. Here's the original parts, the original mirrors. Let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions. So this is kind of cool. It's got different instructions for different size. Maybe this one's mine, the 17 to 19 millimeter. So it's, it's saying to go ahead and use one of these sleeves, put over the bar end weight. So there's a thin one and then a thicker one. In this case, I'm going to use the little bit thicker one. I'm going to keep going at it until it kind of engages, just like last time. Go with that. I don't know where I'm going to put these just yet, so. Uh, that's interesting. Looks like I do need another sleeve. That might be as tight as I can get this. With the ratcheting. That's okay. I think it would have been fine if I kept tightening down on the nut that went right there. But what I don't like is the gap that was right here is getting to be a bit too tight. Maybe maybe that's fine. I don't know. I suppose the only answer is to just make that work. I mean, it looks great right here. No gap, but when you, when you get to tightening it down, Tightening a little, a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the mirror in. So this mirror actually has Kemimoto written on the bottom here. Get 
that a little bit tighter. That one's got a good range, amount of range, range of motion to it as well. I like that. I didn't think I'd like the underbar one, something like that. So we gotta try it up. It was really hard to see the underbars, so I'm gonna mix it up going up top this time. Just see what it looks like. Just in general, this one's actually not that bad as far as placement. This one's off a little bit. Right there, it should be good. Interesting looking into a blue mirror as opposed to a non-blue tinted mirror. I like it. I think up top you still get some of your arm and elbows, at least in my current setup. It's always a little different when you're just sitting on the bike trying to figure it out. But yeah, so far pretty easy installation overall as they like it was last time Kemi Moto came through again. I gotta do the road test now, so let's get to it. All right, super wide. The narrow angle crops way too much out. It's a very windy day today. You can see it by looking at the palm trees. Look at them go. And I'm about to get on the interstate. I gotta go down to one of the home improvement stores down there. miles per hour I can see very clearly out of the mirrors and I hope you guys can see what that on camera too and I think you can but is this person gonna see me yes they did but yeah I can see very clearly out of those mirrors very little vibration I mean there is vibration don't get me wrong I'm going 85 right now but yeah it looks really nice way better than when they were on the bottom when they're on the bottom I couldn't even see out of the round ones so I don't know if that has anything to do with the style or how they're mounted but I do think I want to make a test and put the, the round ones back on but on top and see how they perform in that position going into this I was not a fan of this style of mirror I mean it's not bad don't get me wrong just wasn't necessarily something I thought I was going to like overall long term but I tell you after having them on I, I kind of do like them I, I kind of do tell you the truth they, they've really kind of grown on me and it fits uh, the style a little bit of the bike kind of like it All right, so to finish off this review of the Kemimoto mirrors, I did what anybody would do. Put it through the ultimate torture test. I laid down my bike. God damn it. <sighs> Fuck. To see how well they would hold up. And to be honest, they held up pretty good. Now I know what you're thinking. That is probably the dumbest way to test out mirrors. And it is. And it was not fun. It wasn't bad. It was real low speed. It was about 15 miles per hour. But mistakes happen. Everybody will eventually lay down their bike. So the good thing to come out about this is when you have full insurance, my insurance company has been excellent with the coverage, being able to replace everything on here back to factory stock as well as my gear because I had the gear protection, the accessories protection. So everything has been fully covered and, and I still have the $250 deductible but that's that's not bad considering everything that's being done. A, a slow speed 15 mile per hour crash will do $3,800 worth of damage. So with everything said, I talked to the service manager here at Champions Honda and we're going to do some custom stuff to replace the side badges. The only way you can get new side badges is if you order an entire tank. 
and an entire tank is a little over $1,100. That's insane. We're gonna do a little custom work. I will show you guys and fill you in on that in a upcoming video. And then as well as this little scratch on the single side swing arm, to replace that it's about $1,000 or so. So instead of doing that, it's just light cosmetic work. I'm gonna have that painted and I'll tell you more about that as well. So it's gonna look really cool. We're gonna do some cool things to this and customize the bike a little bit more. All right, if you guys like that video, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll get you guys updated on another episode of Bros of Brides. See you later.